Hip Peppers here, back with another part of the cast of Love & Hip Hop, New York City. We have the beautiful Sin Santana. How are you? I'm great. Good. And then we have the new, one of the new cast members, Cisco. How are you? I'm good yourself. How you doing? Good, good, good. How are you doing? And then we got Peter Guns in the building. How are you? Great, great. How are you? I'm good, man. We got... Yes, happy holidays. So I've talked to a few of the other castmates. I've talked to Erica, I've talked to Tara. I haven't talked to anybody you're involved with yet. And I hear this season's going to be full of drama. Okay, Mr. Cisco, since you were talking, I saw episode one, too. Oh, well, uh, yeah, with you, uh, brother. I actually never have, like, I don't, I don't know about what you do. So can you tell me, you're like a music executive. I saw you were in L.A. and New York. What exactly do you do? I'm a music producer. Okay. By trade, I've been doing that a long time. Mm -hmm. I'm also a businessman in entertainment. You know, I, I used to own a sizably large marketing company, entertainment-based marketing company in New York. Mm -hmm. uh, I had offices on Broadway, and through that, I worked with a lot of corporate brands, um, from Walmart to JetBlue to PepsiCo. Nice. So, um, and I used to handle a lot of their entertainment production, you know, concerts, festivals, parades, mm -hmm. um, just producing, you know, all the musical elements and you know, incorporating you know, uh, marketing with, or, or marketing products through the vehicle of entertainment. Mm -hmm. You know, so I used to write a lot of those programs and strategies um, for those corporations. So I've just been a very active businessman in the world of entertainment for a long time. I've just never been, you know, I don't brag. Right. So sometimes people, because I've gotten that a lot, and it doesn't bother me. People are like, you know, what is it that you do? Right. You know, like, what, because it's almost like you got to pull it out of me. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like, that's just my personality. I don't want you to befriend me because of what I do. I don't right. want you to want to date right. me because of what I do. And, you know, some guys, you meet them, they lead with that shit. Mm -hmm. And to me, that's corny. Right. You know, when you meet somebody in the club or whatever, like, how you doing? And the second thing is, oh, what do you do? Mm -hmm. I like, work at I, Right, I, oh yeah, I'm, I'm, and that's another thing, I never wanted to be that guy. You know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. like how Rich, you know, for years, Rich was like, oh, I'm, you know, he had the rich, and, it was like rich and bad boy. You know what I mean? The shit just went, but he promoted it that way all the time, which is not a bad thing. I'm just saying, like, for me, I never wanted to be attached to a brand. Right. Because then you're only as relevant as that brand at exactly. that point. Exactly. You know what I mean? So That's true. So I'd rather just be relevant because I'm Cisco or just not be relevant but be still moderately successful. Yes, yes, yes. You know? Cisco. Cisco. And, but, and so then, okay, so episode one, we see you with um, Diamond Strawberry. And we see you go back and forth to New York and L.A. And she comes to New York. Um, why would you let her come to New York? Why Why didn't you just shut that down right then and there? Well, I can't give up too much about, you know, what those happened? details. Because yeah. there is a show that takes place, but <laughs> I didn't let her do anything. She's a grown woman. I never, you know, she made a decision on her own to, you know, come to New York and um, be around me, I guess. And to be honest with you, I still have my suspicions about what <laughs> the real reason why she came to New York anyway. Mm -hmm. But for argument's sake, let's say if, if it was for me, you know, she, I guess she took a, you know, a, a leap of faith and, you know, um, was something I was kind of blindsided with, to be honest with you. And so right now you're still, like, dating and doing your thing and, like, hanging out because you you weren't. And on the show, she really had the, I know a lot of women that date men and be like, yes, that's my man, that's it. But then a lot of men date other women, and it's like, you know, that, that disconnect of where it was. So right now you're still kind of like single and dating and doing your thing. Well, I say this. Um, I went through a lot of, you know, I went through a lot of shit, mm -hmm. you know, at a certain point in my life. And because of that, I kind of just lost track of, you know, um, what I cared about and who I really did care about. Mm -hmm. And kind of, you know, I was a little irresponsible with my choices in terms of just not, you know, being direct with certain people. Like, mm -hmm. maybe it's more serious for you than it is for me. You know what I mean? I'm a victim of, of not a victim, but I'm, I'm guilty of making some bad choices mm -hmm. as far as that's concerned. We are. You know what I mean? So that's like, you know, Peter and I talk about that all the time. It's like, with men, we make bad decisions. That don't make us bad people. Right. Because if you talk to, you know, you talk to the mother of his children, they're going to say, well, he takes care of them and vice versa, you know what I mean? You know, they may say everything else under the sun, but they're going to be like, well, they are great fathers. Yes, you know, because I, I practice that. I make that. My children want for nothing. Right. You know, so as long as that's the case, then all the other criticism, you know, I mean, it's just like you're not going to stop that anyway. Exactly. 
So why, last question for you, why did you sign on to do the show after like seeing it for four seasons now? Why did you think that this was the best move for you? <laughs> well, first, I was signed to VH1 already. Right? I had uh, something else going on, and, you know, uh, it, it didn't pan out. So I was kind of already in the system, and it was like, well, you know, I was, I was in a really weird space in my life, you know, transitional you know, time for me. And I just felt like everything that I was going through, I felt like, you know, at the end of the day, maybe I should just put it out there and, you know, hopefully my experiences when I, and all the craziness that I've gone through, if I can show people, you know, and look, you can go through all these things and still overcome them and still become successful and not let them, not let the challenges of life take you down completely, then, you know, maybe that, that overall message, despite the craziness, can still inspire some people, maybe, you know, save some young people. You know? well, I hope we get that from your story. That's awesome that you came on and that's your mission. You know I mean, and it's not just for, just so we clear, it's not, I'm not just talking that shit just because right. it's, you know, for the camera or whatever. Like, I really feel that way. Yeah. Like, I'm active. Like, I was, I was downtown marching the other day with the protesters, right. you know, because I believe in, you know, in social change. I believe in the justice system needs to be corrected because, you know, they are punishing our young brothers and sisters out there, you know, recklessly. So, I do care about the community. I do care about the environment, you know, that I came from and the ones that are similar to it. So, like I said, if I can drive a message that will help save some kids, but like, man, he did some crazy shit, but you know what? Look what he came from. Right. Look what he had to deal with. And he still held together and he's still here. And he's still successful. So, I said, you know, why not? Why not put that out there? Yeah. Well, you guys, make sure we all tune in every single Monday to see these lovely three people and their lives. Do not attack them, guys, on social media. It's not that serious. This is not our life. Kiss my ass because I don't really care. What he said. I didn't mean that. That's mean, you guys. But do tune in and give them love, you know? All right, guys. We'll see you guys later. This is Sin, Gia, Cisco, and Peter Guns signing off. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.